Hello, kia ora, g'day. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with your Australia only weather forecast uh, for the next week or so ahead. And we've got a bit of spring carrying on in the south with some polar changes still coming through. And in the north, we're seeing some signs of the monsoon, the wet season. Although, what is going on in the south of the country? is going to affect the north and you're going to see why because high pressure expanding south of Australia next week is going to push any wet weather in the tropical north back northwards again and drier skies will return but between now and then we do see some rain and we are still monitoring a low pressure zone next week around the Darwin area. So let's have a look and see what is happening for today for Thursday morning once again low pressure returns to South Australia with a burst of rain and showers that'll move through fairly quickly it's not lingering too long and it will head off further eastwards thunderstorm activity reduced a bit today still in the same spots around western australia and spilling over a tiny bit into the uh, northern territory and around darwin itself seeing a few thunderstorms same with uh, tropical parts of queensland also seeing higher humidity more showers and a few thunderstorms uh, around there but as high pressure leaves new south wales the skies are still mostly dry, but you will start to notice the cloud building in the west as we go through today. For some of you, it may just be some high cloud, as you can see there, and kind of that blue shading that starts to show up. And down around Tasmania, still unsettled for you, and the spring pattern carries on, off and on. You've got some settled, milder days, but also some windy, colder days also in the mix. And that is going to impact what is happening at the top of the country as we go into next week. So let's make sense of it. Here we are on Thursday, going into the later part of today. The high that was over New South Wales, now out over the Coral Sea area, just east of Brisbane. That isn't really doing a huge amount, but that eastern placement drags down that, that warmer airflow, coming in the form of mostly a north to northwesterly wind that will start to build across today. Low pressure still around South Australia as we go in towards this evening, but you can see in the darker purple shading, low pressure is really affecting almost all of Australia. No high pressure parked over you unless you're in um, Lord Howe Island and Norfolk Island. You've got some high pressure rolling through, but low pressure near Tassie. That's why it's unsettled, especially for you, parts of Victoria. And the next high, still not moving into Western Australia, and it doesn't really want to. It's going to stay south, and that's part of the reason we're going to see that change coming into the tropics next week, the drier change. So let's make sense of everything I'm talking about, because there are quite a few moving parts, and I appreciate the weather maps are looking a bit messy. So we've got a lot of low pressure. Low pressure leaving South Australia, coming into New South Wales. Large area of low pressure, not necessarily producing a large amount of rain. You've got thunderstorms on the other side of that, on the more humid northerly side, more tropical weather. Severe thunderstorms possible in the northeast corner of New South Wales and the southeast corner of uh, Queensland and also along the western side of the Great Dividing Range. You could also be seeing some thunderstorms through there. Wherever you see blue and green on the map, that's a chance of showers and thunderstorms. The thunderstorms more likely inland where you're seeing some areas of green in there as well. And more low pressure over central parts of Western Australia. That's encouraging the slightly cooler airflow along with the higher that's offshore. That southerly or southeasterly flow goes right up to the Midwest coast there. A number of main centers noticing that the temperatures might maybe down a wee bit or at the very least, the humidity is down a wee bit. So as we go into the weekend, the high that is <laughs> flirting with Australia, the one that's off the southwest coast, carries on with the cooler airflow in the south. Now that's coming along as a southerly quarter wind, which means it could be southwesterlies, southerlies, or southeasterlies. Um, that's what we're seeing here, a southwester curving around into a southeasterly. So your temperatures will be down along the southern coastline all the way over into Victoria as well, where low pressure is still spinning, a wee bit of rain, some low pressure into New South Wales as well. So we're still seeing the thunderstorms, especially in the southeast corner of Queensland, where the tropical boundary in the red line here gets dragged further and further into the southeast. And so that means some thunderstorms are around. And for New South Wales, a mixture of downpours, usual kinds of showers, maybe a few thunderstorms in there too. Uh, elsewhere out to sea, high pressure moves further away. Now the northerly winds come in around Lord Howe Island and across the Northern Territory, plenty of showers there with thunderstorms in the mix as it is for the Kimberley. So as we go into Sunday, it looks a lot more like the monsoon now. When you start to see the heavy rain appearing from Queensland back to the top half of the Northern Territory, and into the Kimberley. Those are the regions uh, that are most likely to be exposed to the monsoon rains. 
But I said that what's going on in the south, the spring weather, is going to affect the tropics. And it's to do with the Shai Hai, the one that seems nervous to move in. As it moves a little closer here on Sunday, that southerly wind, the southerly quarter wind, carries on, but now it pushes further up and it pushes into Queensland and it pushes into the southern part of the Northern Territory, which means the red tropical boundary gets pushed northwards. So yes, you've still got heavy rain from the northeast corner of New South Wales into the southeast corner of Queensland and right back up to Darwin, right up to the top end in the Kimberley. That's a line of convergence and a sign of you know, the wet season beginning. But this southerly change is a drier one. Yes, it's got coastal showers in it, but it's drier further northwards. And that's going to clear things out a wee bit as we go into next week. But it's worth, worth also noting the polar boundary returning there on Sunday. Uh, it doesn't last long, but Sunday night in Tasmania, just another change with colder weather coming through for a time. Westerly winds here on Monday, driving western showers in. And that cooler change, the southerly one, coming into South Australia, Victoria, New South Wales, yes, you've got showers in the blue there. Won't add up, add up to a huge amount for most of you, but some of you might get some heavy downpours that linger longer. But now you see that flow going right up further into Queensland, pushing those showers northwards. And yes, we've still got signs of downpours and thunderstorms and maybe some severe thunderstorms in the real tropical parts of Australia. But that high pressure zone well south is the reason why we're seeing that southerly flow clearing northwards. So we go to Tuesday and you can really see what I'm saying. The high, well south of Western Australia, it's not even close to Albany or Perth. And that system though, that high pressure system, stretching out a ridge of high pressure all the way through to central parts of Queensland and into central to eastern parts of New South Wales, as well as uh, the western half of Victoria. Still got the westerlies blowing around Tassie. So that dries the skies out, reduces the humidity in the uh, southern half of Queensland and around Western Australia, not a lot of change. You do see a few more showers pushing further out to the coastline there. Easterly winds carrying on on the northern edges of that high pressure system. And by Wednesday of next week, it's even drier as we see the southerly flow carrying on through due to that high south of Western Australia, affecting a large part of the rest of Australia. Certainly much drier skies, but in Tassie, the polar boundary returns, you've got another wintry snap returning again with more showers, temperature drop once more for you. Some of you will think it feels like winter again as that moves on through. So certainly temperatures are down in the southern parts of Australia. And as we go through the middle of next week, the skies really dry out after getting some decent downpours, some widespread areas of showers and thunderstorms going through uh, at the end of the weekend and the start of next week. Now we've still got this low up here worth monitoring near Darwin. Uh, the latest forecast still shows it to be a kind of lazy tropical depression. So for now, it is not posing any serious threat to Australia, just like I said yesterday, but it's worth monitoring because it's certainly in an area where it could spark up a wee bit stronger and turn into an actual storm. Uh, so we'll keep a very close eye on that. We will update you again tomorrow, Friday, uh, as as to how that low is shaping up, but also how the forecast right across next week is looking. So I'll see you again tomorrow, Friday.